Wait. Oh, okay. I gotta get the video going. <laughs> All right, now we're good. Welcome back to Shinstrap Chaps. <laughs> I'll probably, odds are, I'm probably gonna keep that part in. <laughs> Seven Star. That's a song I wrote. Wow. <laughs> Did you write it because of this game? No. Oh. I wrote it because of Last Exile, because I'm a weeb. <laughs> yeah. I'm like Ian McDowell from a Clockwork Orange. <laughs> I do like Mr. McDowell. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, It'll this take is me to be, the saw. Off. This is gonna be another one where I need a Huey Pierre. I have one, mm. but I don't know what to do there, so fuck it. I'm just gonna leave it. All right. I have consumed a full egg roll. It is going down to my tummy, and it will be made into dookies. <laughs> yep. This poison I'm eating will also be turned into dookie at some point. Yeah. Probably when your corpse is being fed upon. Yeah, probably. I saw him over here. There he is. I see him. Uh, you know what I had a big fun night with yesterday? Some br Brazilian fart porn? No, unfortunately it was uh, very close to that. Um, my, uh, my sump pump died. Oh! So got home and the water is uh, starting to pool up down in the basement. Was it poopy water or? No, just normal water. Well, see, that's exactly what happened that one time in my house. So what, did you have to shop back it all up? Um, luckily, we have a second sub pump. It's just oh, not as backup, strong. The backup, yeah. Yeah, yeah we have a backup <clears> one, which is not as strong and... It uh, it basically it it, yeah, it made a small pool, which I was then able to just like take a like a straight straight edge broom and push it all back into the hole. Oh, okay. <clears throat> so it wasn't. But a full, I had full flood. Yeah, no, deal. not a full flood. Well, that's good. I had to go into uh, just stick my whole arm into the water, pull out the old nasty sub pump. And then um, Ann's dad started to help me with it. I couldn't get it off, so he hit it with a hammer and he broke the PVC. Oh, just great. clean it in half. <laughs> I'm like, shit, okay. So then I gotta go to Ace Hardware. Yeah. I run down to Ace Hardware, I get the fittings and all that stuff that I needed. And I realized that we didn't have any of the primer or cement that I needed. So I had to go back to Ace Hardware <laughs> as the water was filling back up, and, huh. you know, doing all this overflow. Yeah. It was a real pain in the ass. And I was just covered in, like, rust and, like, calcium deposits and all that kind of stuff. I was super dirty. It was not a good time. When did this happen? Last night. Last night? Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Fuck. You had a, a shitty time, then. Yeah. Luckily, it wasn't actually shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when... That, um, that when is my, the most important part. <clears throat> yeah, when my parents' basement flooded, it wasn't actual shit, either. But Yeah. It's just the uh, excess groundwater. Yep. Coming on up. What do you think, Billy? Should I do the gliding? <laughs> yeah. Gliding's fun. <clears throat> Did you, did you see this before you went to the bathroom? There's this. I, I gotta pay 200 rupees for postage for this shit. I did not. 201 rupees for postage. For something that's probably worthless. Should I do it? Yeah, probably. Alright, well, the rupees it's are worthless like, otherwise. Yeah, I was gonna say, it's not like the rupees really are worth anything when they're not being spent. You ready for it? Yep. 
<laughs> love it. Absolutely love it. Best character in the game. Yep. Most memorable too. Why he didn't get a side like a like a one off side game. game? Yeah, I don't know. Yep, he deserves it. He deserves. He does. It. Yeah. That's not right. People are like Link. Who's that? More like Spy Glass oh, guy. <laughs> Oh. Oh. I got him, I got him oh. reversed. Yeah, putting it the wrong way. <laughs> you good? Yeah. Look at this smug Sp asshole over here. Look at him. Yeah, I know. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm a I fucking bird. I have Pools weak. closed. <laughs> I can fly an indefinite amount of time. Just depends upon my stamina. <laughs> what about you, <laughs> Leaf Boy? Yeah, right. It's like fuck you. Boy. I honestly don't know if I can do this yet because I don't have that much magic. <laughs> so I might, I might be fucked. Well, you know, Ooh, I happens. like this guy's mustache. That's pretty cool. That is really cool. Yeah, I might be fucked on this one. I didn't think about that. Well, you know, that's life. You don't have it. You definitely don't have enough magic. Yeah, I don't have enough magic. For You're not even sure. halfway, and then... Yeah, this thing is annoying because, like, you gotta catch it, and it's... Get yeah. yourself back. Yeah. And, and I think you get, like, goes. a heart piece for this or some shit. I forget. Yeah, I need to get more magic. <clears throat> <clears throat> And that's where the sharks come and get you. <laughs> yeah. Splee. Splee. <laughs> that's not that good. <laughs> 109 yards. That's like oh, wow, 300. You suck. It's 327 feet, Taylor. Yeah, you're right. I know. <laughs> so I fucking say like, wow, you stink. That was horrendous. All right, now pay uh, that toll. All right, let me, let me pay this troll toll. One letter. Cash on deliver. Ooh. <laughs> Imagine having to pay $200 to accept a letter. Yeah. Mr. First uh, Person. Thank uh, you. This chart will show you where you can find the Triforce charts. No, I do need that. <laughs> uh, fuck you, Tingle. Yeah, fuck you, piece of shit. The incredible chart. I do need that chart, though. That's dumb. Yeah. That's fucking dumb. Well, anyway. Man, life would be shitty if you were just a boat. Well, he's not just a boat, though. That's the thing. He's a lion boat. No, he's a, <clears throat> a king who controls a boat. No, he's, he's just a boat. I kind of wish that that's how it just was. Like, for some reason, by, like, some, like, ancient necronamic spill, uh, the guy was just turned into a boat. Yeah, rather but than controlling it or something, than he was just the boat. the boat. Yeah, if he was just yeah. the boat, yeah. <clears throat> Alright, now get a good look at this. this I think yep. that's pretty big, but that's not that big, right? Yeah, no. Now watch no, when I go like in like it's here. a barrel. Yeah, it's a big barrel. That is, this is not. Oh right, one. here's here's a ten story dungeon. Yeah, this is <laughs> not to scale. <laughs> no, a little bit off. Ah, I'm a bird. I think ah. these are like the pose on this game, kind of. Yeah, basically. Sort of. I mean, not really though. They're magicians. Yeah. Oh no, they're whiz robes. That's the name. Yeah. His robes. You know, they come up with such... Like, intelligent names... In this game. Do they, though? No. Not at all. <laughs> and you're dead, Oh, son. what do we call this wizard creature? Well, he's got a robe. Um, yeah, he's got a robe. Perfect. Wiz robes. <laughs> Uh, that wasn't actually what I was telling you. 
Yeah, no, that's fine. Whiz ropes. I mean, it's a unique word, I guess. I don't know. Get the frick out of here, man. Just fucking, like, kill him already. I'm Do trying. It. I gotta Z target him, dude. Don't and, this, and this predates being able to switch targets once you're locked on. Yeah, that's true. Like normally there's some dumb contrived tutorial about how to switch targets, but you can't do it in this game. I mean, most of the time it's just like, oh yeah, hit the hit hey, the thing over. Hit the other stick to change, but you can't in this one. Yeah. Hello, yeah. Give me all my money back Time for paying go. for that okay. stupid letter, an uh, item that I need in order to complete the game. <laughs> Unless I've beaten the, ga the game before and remember exactly where to go. <laughs> yeah. Fucking bitch ass tinkle. Look at this fucking asshole. Should have leapt him up in that balloon. Just, is he alright? I like the song he's making. <laughs> Aww. I have to sample that. That just sounded like Under the Sea from Little Mermaid. <laughs> yeah. Under the minute. Under the pee. That's all that I know is that I'm <laughs> under the pee. <laughs> It'd be like a heavy metal version of it. Like it's just a piss ocean. <laughs> uh, oh, you ever seen Iron from... Lung? The movie? The, well, either the game. Yeah, I know, I know the yeah, I know the game, but I just know Markiplier is making a movie. Yeah. Well, it's uh, it's that except for it's piss. Yeah. Instead of the blood ocean. <laughs> <laughs> you know what they need to do is if they ever made that game, like the you know Iron Long Two. This time it's piss. Um, what they would have to do is like <laughs> they have to like somehow incorporate like a smell o vision type technology <laughs> so the whole time you just smell and piss yeah so you just smell piss the entire time you're playing the game <laughs> i'm pretty sure i know how to do that pretty well you oh, just yeah? pee on the floor yeah be sure to you pee pee, <laughs> pee on the floor before you play the game <laughs> pee in a cup and just set it on your desk while you're playing the game. right under like between <laughs> where your hands and your chest uh, chest is just place it right there right between you and the keyboard for more immersion. that way it's always just wafting <laughs> up for more immersion be sure to splash it all over yourself when it starts to flood at the end <laughs> make sure to put it in the microwave if it cools yeah <laughs> yeah you want gotta it to you gotta you know it's hot piss you gotta keep it fresh yeah yeah you can top it off as it evaporates. Yeah. Be sure to keep and it makes water. it easier. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Drink plenty of water. Make sure you drink uh, actually some pop in there too, because you want it to be nice and yellowy. <laughs> drink too much water, it's gonna get clear. It's gonna break the whole immersion. Uh, that'd be funny. <laughs> yeah, it's like that uh, don't scream game that just came out, but piss. Yeah, I haven't actually watched Don't Scream yet. It, you know, it, it looks like it might be interesting just based on the um, title. I've seen some game, some some videos on it. I haven't played it, and I'm probably not going to. But like, um, what's cool about it is like the appearance is really good because it's got that like lo-fi like um, uh, VHS found footage look, which kind of gives it that hyper realistic look to it. The problem, yeah. the problem that I've seen with the game, or at least like a lot of people's critiques anyway, is that like the game is designed to just make you scream. There is no actual threat of anything that will kill you. The only way to fail okay. the game is to scream or to make too much noise. So like all of the jump scares and stuff that you see in the game, there's nothing that's actually there like hunting you or anything. It's just a oh, bunch okay. of like like it's just it's just jump scares it's just jump scares that happen at random and and that's how you fail the game is by making too much noise so it's like okay like so they, it's constantly recording your 
voice. Yeah, but the but that's the thing though is that like uh, like it's really immersive. Like the sound design is great and all that, but then it's just a bunch of like unrelated jump scares. Like oh, okay. oh there's the r- the ring girl. Um, there is a demon thing. There's a bunch of spiders. There's you know like just a bunch of random stuff, and it's like. It would have been better if it was actually like a detailed yeah. game. Yeah, or like there's a like there's an actual monster or something like that. And I think they're still working on it, but still it's like yeah, you need to have like an actual threat rather than just a bunch of random jump scares. Like that's not you know not it kinda loses yeah, its it, immersion when you know the game is literally just like a haunted hayride, you know? Yeah. When when a game leans too heavily on jump scares, it becomes yeah. a dread to really and that's kind of it. Like, like, like I don't like games with just jump scares because, like, I don't know. It's, it's boring. Yeah, it's boring and it's kind of cheap. Like, yeah, it can be creepy, but it's like I don't know. Yeah, like, you, you just get tired of it. Yeah. It's like going to something that, like, a concert for me. Right. And you're like right up against where the percussion and stuff is. That all that boom, boom, boom. It makes me tired. Yeah. Just because, like, my body is reacting to it. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's been to some show. I've been to some shows this year that they uh, they hit the bass a little too hard. I think. Yeah. I saw uh, the Beetle Bam over at the, the Majestic Theater. Um, this it says that a a <coughs> BT Bam cover of all. No. Beatles songs? No, it's just what I'm it's just what I'm calling them for now. Oh, okay. Um You've actually seen them there. I, I dragged you to yeah. a show there once. Yep. Yeah. yeah, I I was I was there. Actually I that remember, concert but... Yeah, that concert that I took you to there, they played the same album as the the oh. last time I saw them. So it's Oh, okay. You know. That's like the I think that was the second time I've seen them play that full album, I think. Anyway, it, the Majestic does not have the best acoustics, I don't think, to begin with. But no, they, I the, say that. yeah, the mixing engineer, the sound engineer there, like, just cranks the fucking bass and like, yeah. like the kick and the snare, and it's like, there's more to it than that. <laughs> no, nope, <laughs> like, those are the only two. Like, I understand you want to hear those two things a lot, but like, I don't want to hear any cymbals. Those should not be mic'd at all. <laughs> That happened at the film. All I want is the kick and the snare. That happened at the film war. Me, me and Drew saw Steel Panther there in one of the opening bands. Like you know the film war. It's a huge like yeah. theater. And they yeah. didn't they didn't have any overhead mics on the drums. So like you Ugh. couldn't hear that at all. <laughs> and it's like, what are you guys doing? <laughs> like Clearly, I'm Clearly uh, the music engineer was uh, either called in sick that day yeah. or he just really phoned it in. Like, I'm obviously not a live sound expert, but, like, you got to have something that's going to project that. Like, it, if it's a small club, you can get away without really even miking anything on the kid. If it's a small yeah. enough club, right? But, like, a that's, giant theater... The Fillmore is large. Yeah, the Fillmore is huge. So it's like, that sound's not going to translate, like, at all. But... The fuck do I know? Yeah, no, all, <clears> they, all they miked was the kick, and that was it. Oh, I need the whole so you'd, this, I think. All you'd hear is just every once in a while, do, do. Yeah. Well, that's the thing, though, like, right? Like, um, there was one of the opening bands at this la- that last BT Bam show I did, or I went to, was uh, Thank You Scientist. I don't really like them that much. You think I would, but I don't. Um, they're, like, a progressive metal, but they also do, they have, like, a horn section, so they kind of have, like, this fusion-y kind of stuff going on, too. Um, okay. Yeah, you think you think I would like it, but I honestly really don't. <laughs> um, but uh, the whole time, I could not discern anything in, in any of their songs because it was just mixed so poorly. <laughs> yeah. So. And that's that, uh, that's where you know it pays that, to have a, a good there? mix. Is that a Gemerald over there that I gotta hit? Gemerald scales. Yeah, right there. It looked like it went over him. Yeah, actually. Oh! There it is. That's not how things work, but alright, game. Nice. 
Now this one ain't gonna happen. This ain't gonna happen here. But I'm gonna, he's going in a circle, sorta, so I'm gonna time it. Yeah, that's what a fucking quit it would say. Oh! Yeah, there you go. First shot, boy! <laughs> now put this fucking thing on your head. Let's do this shit. Let's fucking go! Oh, so they're all going to spawn back in. I love it when people say that shit. I think it's so dumb. <laughs> like, you ever see videos online of people doing that? They're just like, let's fucking go! No. <laughs> I don't know. That's like a real, like, bro thing to say. Oh, there's probably one up there still. Shit. Yeah. You got this, too. I believe in you. Well, I better. This is the only hoi pair I got. Yeah. Filled your bag with bait. You tried to buy more hoi pierres. Well, let me get this one at the very tippy top here. Let's get this fucking. This is probably just for like a fucking Triforce shard or some shit. Nah, it's gonna be actually for bombs. Ten pack. Alright. Oh. <laughs> get fucking wasted, bruh. <laughs> Uh, okay. Well, that was a good use of that, anyway. Fuck. <laughs> well, if I see another beetle, I can, uh... Yeah, you can get a couple of them. Oh, uh, yeah, this is just a Triforce shard. Fuck you. I mean, you're supposed to get them, so... It's I like... know. But, lame. I'm gonna give me a little bit of money <laughs> to pay for that letter. One other thing of, uh, ultimate power and all that, you know, it's really important to the game. Um, and then when you go and see it, it's just lame. <laughs> this is bullshit. This isn't a fucking fun quest anymore. How long are we going? I gotta just start a timer for these. Now I gotta check OBS every time. <laughs> Breaking well, immersion. Tw 22 <laughs> minutes and 15 seconds. Yeah, yep. Is what I got on my record. You're absolutely right. I gotta just start a timer instead, I think. Da, da, da. Oh, it's a Triforce charge. It's not even the Oh, it's even timer. worse. Yeah, even worse. Boo! It's it's a fetch quest. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Your reward is more bullshit. So much goddamn. Waiting. You know, I was I was uh, speaking of the Beatles though. Um, did you hear their new song? No. I listened to it last night. Did they put out another Beatles song? Yeah. Like. Uh huh. I didn't even know that. There was, um, that. there was, I guess, like a recording done back in the 70s John Lennon had done for a song. <clears throat> and I'm assuming, yeah. I don't really know the, the full scope of what, what this entailed, but I guess he had he'd done a recording of a song, and then I, I'm assuming he must have recorded it with one microphone or something like that, because there's a piano in the background, I think. So it wasn't until recently Peter Jackson, of all people, had like some software that can help like 100% isolate. Out. Yeah, like isolate both things, I guess. Oh, okay. So they, uh, I think there was like some footage of them performing the song, obviously without John, in in like 1995 or something. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, just recently they um, had it produced. And it's got John Lennon's voice on it and everything, and George playing and whatever. And uh, they just released it. And it's now uh, and then. Now and then, yeah, that's it. And they got a music okay. video for it out. And within the first twelve hours, it had already gotten seven million views on YouTube. <laughs> so it's like a big fucking deal. But this is like now effectively it's at twelve million. Yeah, this is effectively. Uh, the last song that they would have like made together if you really want to look at it that way you know yeah because they have done this before but it was they oh, had shit. two songs that they have done this before with um yeah. the same kind of basic thing except for it wasn't uh oh, this exact it way it was just leftovers right um and that was uh real love and f something a bird i can't remember the name right now yeah but uh yeah they did those probably like 10 years ago right those came out maybe a little bit longer and yeah 
really good songs. Um, I'm gonna listen to this on the way to get in my car. Yeah. It's a kind of like a sad song. Yeah. So it's like a kind of like weird, like, I don't know, almost like bittersweet type of thing that that's like the last song that they would ever release. Yeah. But. Well, maybe they'll find something else that will, so, uh, you know, and then they can keep producing another one or so every once in a while. Yeah, I don't know. But then at the same time, it's going to feel like, oh, you're just milking the dead. Well, that's and that's kind of it. That's why I don't, I don't think even, like, Paul or Ringo want to do any of that stuff because it's like, you know, they don't want to yeah. tarnish George the legacy. And, yeah, George <laughs> and John are dead. Like, they've been dead for a hot minute now. Yeah. Yeah. And at some point, uh, Paul will die, and then Ringo will live on to be the <laughs> first, uh, the first thousand-year-old person. I was gonna say Ringo is gonna be like, I'm gonna get some new session session musicians, and we're gonna do the Beatles now. The Beatles too. Yeah. The Be- the Beatles too. It's also spelled like with two E's instead of an E A. So it'll be three, three E's. Yeah, three E's. B E E E T L E S. So I guess four E's. Because there's four of us. And then he's like, "There's actually five, though." And then he's just like, "Fuck you." <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Four statements. Oh. I don't even go there. Yeah, that would, that would be pretty bad if they like, if they tried to like reunite the Beatles or like reignite it. It's like, dude, come on. Yeah, it's like, come on. Like you They've guys, been dead for a hot you, I was gonna say you guys were like hung it up like fifty years ago. <laughs> like, no. Yeah, for the fiftieth anniversary, we're back. <laughs> yeah. I mean, when Paul when Paul tours, he just does like uh, wing he stuff, wings. doesn't he? Yeah. Yeah, he will hit. A couple of his um, Beatles songs, right? Mainly like "Yesterday," yeah, <clears throat> the ones that he wrote. Right. He'll normally, he'll normally still play. But uh, you know, there's a couple of Beatles songs that he will always play, just because they're like fan favorites, and right. He was the main singer on the song. Yeah. I don't want to do this one. I think this is like the, probably like a sailing course or something. I don't really want to do it, so I'm not going to do it. That's understandable. We're going to cut um, the episode here in a second anyway. Yep. I was going to say we might as well end off on this cliffhanger. Again. Again. <laughs> Billy, we didn't t- we didn't watch any Japanese anime in this episode. I don't know why we promised that in the last one. But. Yeah. I know. I, you know, <laughs> just like my Japanese anime where they don't actually watch any Japanese anime. <laughs> yeah. Well, next time on Chinstrap Chaps, we don't watch Japanese anime? Billy. Well, now we're going to. Billy, cue up the Japanese anime. I got it, go on. Okay, okay. Okay.